So I was on a 16 game win streak in ranked in Naruto Storm Connections. And I was doing really, really well until I fought this guy with a weak team or a fun team that didn't have really good synergy. That means that the two characters that I picked, sometimes you can pick a two-man team that's really great and really strong and works well together and does really well. This guy did rage quit on me. So I was on a 16-game win streak. I played him with this weak team twice. I lost twice. I lost my win streak. Totally my fault, not the player's fault. But then I played him a third time in a row, and I think he just thought he was going to get easy BP. And then I somehow did the impossible and actually beat him with a really, really weak team. It would have been better to just, and as you can see here, I don't have the win streak anymore, so I, I let it go through, right? I didn't leave, I didn't keep my win streak because I felt justified. And the reason for that is, is because, guys, it was my fault. A lot of times, we just don't take personal responsibility for stuff on our end. You can control what you can do, but you can't control what others do. I mean, you can only hope to control what you do, really, because sometimes you can't even control what you're doing, and it's a sad truth, but it is what it is. So I always say that. That's one of my my tenants or my fear commandments or rules or whatever for life, you know, is you can only hope to control yourself. You can't control others. But it would be nice to have a better community, a more interesting community, one that is just less toxic and more, more based off of honor, right? I wouldn't go as far to say chivalry, but I mean, that would be great. Although most people know that probably chivalry is dead. You know, so some, some degree of honor would be nice, right? For the opponent, a little bit of respect. And even if they don't respect you, try, you know, an eye for an eye makes the world go blind, right? So uh, we can at least try. I mean, we all get a little heated sometimes or, you know, we're not always our best selves, but we can at least try to bring it back and try to get more grounded. So that's that. So what did I do? I decided to play as a Minato Jonin or a live Minato with PTS or pre time skip ten ten or kid ten ten. And there you can see is one of her jitsus where it's I call it the combo jitsu. It's just where she's doing combos, flailing her ninja tools around and stuff like that. It doesn't have the best tracking. There it is again. And as you can see, it did do a little bit of a hit there, but usually it doesn't even hit or it doesn't even track because it's not like Orochimaru or Kimimaru. If you're looking for that absolutely pinpoint heat seeking tracking you're looking more for like an orochimaru or kimimaru or something along those lines um maybe even the last naruto those that second rasengan shadow clone usually does the job and you know hits the opponent creates a sub trap all that so there you know shisui maybe even would be nice with the triple fire blades with the halo dance i think it is so there's there are some other options and of course there's the famous hagaromo nice grab famous hagaromo lightning jitsu which everybody is using and sad this is very sad for me to say this because i was a big shikamaru main and one of my you know uh, friends and one of the people I've played the most with, who his name is Tagordi, in back from Storm Four all the way now to in Connections, you know his favorite character, one of his favorite characters is Shikamaru. So it's sad for me to say this because we both play him a lot, we both love the character, but he's become an S tier support, especially with the balloons that track. Um, they're very very strong, very very broken. So that has become a, a meta support setup if you just want to win and you don't want to think you just use you constantly use shikamaru balloons and you, more importantly and you use the hagaromo lightning bolt which leads me to this youtuber here master 60 i don't know who he is um I, i'm guessing he's a youtuber but i even though he's using ishiki i really like his setup with sasuke and itachi uh, of course that opening is tough because it is kind of the thing that people spam. They spam that alternate uh, Amaterasu Jitsu, and then they they teleport you in there with Sasuke, and then as long as you're moving, you get hit. And a lot of people don't like when people just do that with that Sasuke. But in all honesty, that's the right move, especially when he's playing in a ranked competition, especially now that the gloves are off on my end, and I'm using a real two-man team. Now, this isn't an official real two-man team, but in my mind, it would have been like something like Team Ninja Tools, right? Or just Ninja Tools or something like that. Because there used to be fun ones too, not just Hokages where you pick three Hokages, right? There used to be fun ones like uh, like mustaches or something like that or 
men with mustaches. It was the funniest thing ever. There was a Kiba and Jugo was a two man team with a real name called Animal Lovers. It's like just you know people who uh, admire animals and like animals and that kind of thing, right? Not in a weird way, but just in that kind of way. And then you know they would make these kind of fun things like you know, mustache, men with mustaches or something. And it'd be like the Raikage, Onaki, and someone else. He's some weird three-man team, but it was a real three-man team that they put in there for fun. So for me, this would be like, you know, I was thinking, how do I recreate this Minato Jonin thing where he was like, he took out entire legions of shinobis by himself. What did he do? He had that backpack with the ninja tools. Usually, I should probably put that on him. But uh, usually, you know, then he would use his ninja tools and kunais and he'd go out and he'd just decimate the entire army. So how do I kind of recreate that since he was just working by himself with his kunais and ninja tools? Well, you, you pick a, one of the ten tens, right? So this is the... And when she throws her ninja tools, there's like a thousand tools, right? So that reminds me of all the kunais that he threw on the battlefield. So there's the meaning for me, right? And I really enjoy it. And the interesting thing is, is that there is a high team synergy multiplier. It's not perfect. There's probably better supports like Hinata, Shaputin Hinata, right? Or adult Hinata. She, she would probably be a better support, right? Um, a more meta support, a stronger support. Because what you don't realize is like, she's offering you two strong jutsus, right? Like even though these thousand ninja tools are really good, they're not perfect. There's actually you know, blind spots. There's times where it misses. Um, there was a time in this fight or the last fight where she, like there, right there, it missed. That's actually the second time I called on her and she completely misses. So it's very, very interesting that even though I'm using this character, there is a reason why not everybody is using PTS 1010, right? It's because you. it doesn't seem like it because when you're fighting me, I'm constantly setting her jitsu up, whether it's the ninja tool jitsu, projectile jitsu, or her combo jitsu. I'm always trying to set her up to get some kind of value with a live minato. There is a skill-based element there, so her actual, the skill floor is not that high. It's mid at best. It's probably somewhere between, I wouldn't call it basic, but I would say it's more mid, right? But the skill ceiling is actually very, very high. There's so much there with this character, and it just gels really well with Minato and his mobility, and he can use his mobility to set up and just activate all those hitboxes and activate the Jitsu in the right way where it will work out for you, right? So that's really interesting. So we go from Minato and Kushina getting bodied, her not being reliable, the, the pop-up being worse for Minato on a conversion than a knockdown would be. The knockdown, even if it did, couldn't continue combos, you know, you could have Oki situations and wake-up situations and you can do stuff with Minato there a lot better, right? Minato is more of a ground-based character 